So look at this. We've got a gorgeous Model X right in our driveway. And guess what? These guys were produced around the same exact time in about April of this year. And who you're seeing here is Brian Burnworth. He is the owner of Peach State Detail in Sharpsburg, Georgia. And his gorgeous Model X, shining to perfection, has been wrapped and has been treated with all sorts of great things to make it look this nice. And Brian's gonna help me with my um, no rinse solution to cleaning our Model X. Um, Brian, tell us how your Model X has been outfitted and how it's been taken care of, I guess. So we have um, Derek Johnson of Atlanta Protective Films did a full Expel wrap on the whole car. Brian has the perforated black leather seats and he's looking at my white seats here and I was telling him that um, you know they, they're not as bright explosive white as they were out of the factory but um, they've, they've held up pretty well so far and I wipe them down every week. You were saying you kind of like the uh, non-perforated white seats I do well. like the look of it. You know I like the, uh, the air condition effect on especially in a long trip <laughs> when it's summertime but actually in my opinion, the look of the solid seat, if you want to call it that, I yeah. guess, um, does look nicer than the perforated, in my opinion. That's interesting. Yeah, we, we like the perforated, but because of the kids, we, we went with uh, non-perforated. But yes. yeah, it's all, it's all subjective, I guess. But yeah, they've done pretty well with the, with the kids and everything, and they've held up pretty well. So we filled up two buckets here. And Brian has said something pretty interesting. Any bucket it is, whether it's Home Depot or any bucket you have, this child uh, picture that's on them right in the middle of there is two gallons yeah <laughs> so that's great for o and r for doing your o and r washes yeah. so basically we're going to take an o and r stands for optimum no rinse okay so we're going to take one ounce which is this cap happens to be one ounce and we're going to put one ounce into the solution bucket and then we have a plush microfiber towel we're going to use for washing. Okay. So we'll just throw that in there. And just mix it with the towel. Yes. Kind of mix it around. And so that's your solution bucket. And the other bucket is just basically your water bucket. So give it a little ring out. And probably we can go up here on the hood. Okay. So basically with the, uh, with a towel like this, We'll just make one pass and then we'll flip it and then we'll come back like that. Are you putting pressure at, at this point on this as well? You're not, not just dragging really, it along? Just dragging it along, yes. Okay. So you can see some areas with some bugs might need a little extra. And is there some, what's the, I guess, chemical composition of, of the one ounce that you put in there? Is there something in there that kind of picks up the polymers? Kind of basically emulsifies the dirt. Okay. Yes. So, so you can't just do this with water and uh, no. get away with it. <laughs> no. It would probably swirl it up, yeah. scratch it up. Dry this off. Do you know how many gallons of water one saves washing their car like this versus a hose? I, I don't know the exact. I would imagine quite a bit, especially yeah. depending on how much rinsing you know you're doing. All this and that but here we are with four gallons of water to do a full car wash yeah so a very large car at that yes <laughs> yes so there we are again just going to agitate that around in the water bucket bring it out really good go back in the solution bucket and usually when i do the sides i do fold the towel into force because it's easier to control so i'm going to start here Mm -hmm. Make a few passes, but you can see oh, how yeah. much it's pulling off there. Yeah. Our wash towel, we're going to give it a little bit of a ring out so it's not dripping all over the place. And usually what I do is I fold it in half and use it like that. So we're going to start up on top. Okay. And when you're doing glass, um, you don't have to be as worried about the you know, about flipping the towel because you're not going to scratch your glass. You're not going to swirl yeah. your glass. 
So, how long do you think the whole application would would take with this ONR process? Um, I can do it easily in 20 minutes. Oh wow! But I've been doing it for years <laughs> on a few. So, you know, so, when you start out, it's going to take you longer. If you have two people, you know, if you have somebody washing and then another person following to dry, you can really get it done quick. Yeah. You know, after you become proficient in it, like probably 15 minutes and that's without wheels of course wheels is a already different story yeah and brian you've got um and peach state detail has a tremendous amount of experience with with teslas so you're very active in the tesla community you know just about anything there is to know involving tesla and and the south really but atlanta in particular um how many teslas have you guys worked on s's and x's um roadsters i guess perhaps too Total Teslas we've done, I believe now is 126 oh that goodness. we detailed and opticoded. <laughs> wow. Um, probably about eight X's. So after this towel, which we still have some clean sides left, um, so we'll just start working from here. Okay. But after the towel, so you're gonna make a few passes, and especially if the car is really dirty, then you wanna flip the towel to the other side. Make a few more passes. And you leave it wet as it is? Yes. Yes. And yes. there's a reason that being indoors, but doing this as well. Exactly. And that is? Um, it will dry, if, if it dries on the paint, the solution is not a big deal. You can um, just go over that area again. Okay. So if the paint's warm or something like that, you can see it's almost drying on the glass already. Mm -hmm. So what we could do is just dry off the, the top of it right now. Again, since we see that's kind of drying. But normally, if the, if the paint's cool or everything's cool, you would just do the whole vehicle and then come back and dry it. Okay. So we'll just uh, put that into the water bucket. And this one pass you're doing, Brian, is, is enough to, yes. once you're done with the glass, you're done with the glass? Yes. Oh, yes, for sure. Yeah, the X glass, you're a tall guy, so it helps. <laughs> <laughs> it does provide a little bit of an obstacle. Of course, always, if somebody has a problem reaching and they're just coming up a little bit short, they can always put the suspension on low. That's true. Yes, that will help. Also have a little stool that I use sometimes, just a step on, you know, a little step stool. So you can see that's cleaning up uh, really quick and well, drying up nice. Are you... Putting pretty good pressure on there, on the glass, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, the glass, it really doesn't matter. Um, other areas, you you know, you don't need to push real hard, really. And this sort of a work you guys do on any car that comes to your offices and in 20 minutes or so, you're... you're yes, we don't, we don't do a whole bunch of maintenance washes. Okay. Um, not too many of them. We can. We do what we call uh, decon washes on cars that are coated with OptiCoat, okay. where you're just removing contaminants after a year and a half or two years. So that's all dry now. So probably when we get done, you can probably must see a little tint, okay. a little tinge of dirt yeah. in there compared to the, to the clean. Yeah, very easy to pick that up. So on the front, we may have bugs stuff like that so something you just kind of need to keep an eye out for as you're going yeah so bugs are highly acidic right yes so that they're, they're not necessarily yes, they're great not just, just to stick around on the paint <laughs> yes definitely don't want an etching because they will etch into your clear coat after a while and then your clear coat will need polishing or possibly sanding to yeah. get that out if left on there long enough Brian had an interesting story he just shared with me about um, the sensors in the front of the Model X and he was, uh, uh, share that story Brian, driving on the highway and, and what it sensed. So I was driving on the highway and there was a small potato chip bag kind of blowing across the interstate and you know, on my X it detected something in the front of the car and the warning <laughs> came on and you know told me to slow down or be cautious or whatever and all <laughs> it was is a small hand size. If That's you will. wonderful. <laughs> Personal potato chip bag. I love it. It's, it's interesting to hear that it's sensitive enough to be able to 
detect something like that? Yes. I was glad to say that the small potato chip bag didn't take out the 5,700-pound model X. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> the X won good. the battle. Yes. This, uh, I guess, outside cleaning, is this something that could be used with less water, I guess, on the inside as well to, yes. to get the interior? You can use it for your seats. Okay. You know, because it has a little bit of cleaner in there. It's not harmful to anything. Clean your dash with it. Wow. You just want to wring the towel out really well before you go to the inside and then just follow with the drying towel, mm -hmm. with your waffle weave drying towel. And inside the window, I'd imagine the same same sort of a thing? Yes. The in interior glass can be cleaned very easily. It's a O&R is a great glass cleaner. Okay. So you just need to follow with a good... How much does this kit cost with the uh, number of towels we have there and so we the have, two uh, ONRs? I guess one is, are they both ONRs? Yes, okay. yes. Um, so the 32 ounce of ONR, I sell it in that quart jug for 15. Um, basically the whole kit is 70 with the towels, the two towels, the two washing towels and the two waffle weed drying towels. Okay. But they're nice high quality, they're not just run of the mill stuff you might see on Amazon, yeah, <laughs> stuff like and that. The waffle weave is for for, for, dr for yes, drying. For drying, okay, yes. yes. And I notice you're going left, right on a lot of the uh, the yes. motions there. You're yes, front to back. Okay. There's no need ever to go in circles. Okay. Basically, the theory is is if you induce small swirls, they are harder to see if they're running the length of the car than if they're circular. Okay if you will. I mean, we're obviously our goal here is not to induce any swirls. Is it something you do um, on your car frequently as well then? Yes, every, you know, once a week, twice a week, depending on how much is getting driven. I take, uh, even when I'm on road trips, I take some collapsible buckets you could buy off of Amazon oh, wow. with me. And as long as I can get Access. water somewhere, yeah, you know, from a sink in a restroom or something like that or wherever, Sounds and like the I best supercharging uh, time yes. killer. <laughs> yes. Are you using the same towel? I haven't even paid attention. Is it the same towel just going in and yes. getting the chemicals yes. out? And then some people like to do a method where they use multiple towels, which is fine if they want to do that. You okay. know, they'll just use one towel. Once it becomes dirty, they'll grab the next one. Okay. Onto the next one. Wow, look at that. I don't know if you can tell, it is night and day. I mean, this, this has to be faster than just pointing a hose at your car. <laughs> yes, I mean, it, you have to get the hose out, you have to do this, you have to do that. Could be raining and out. You're, you're making it look easy at least. Cold <laughs> out, like today, if you wanted to wash it, it's really hot out. Yeah. Um, it's nice to be in your garage. Yeah, I mean, So that's... you can see all that. This area here, you know, on an X, it's mostly covered, but on an S, this is, you know, mostly painted there. Yeah. So it will, uh, but from the car kicking up all the stuff as you're driving. I noticed I was going to tell Brian he opened the Falcon wing and I was going to, or I opened the wing and I was going to show him how to close it. <laughs> I'm so used to telling people how to operate things with this car. Well, yes, yes. <laughs> as I, as I stepped forward to show him, he closed it. I said, oh, <laughs> this is why. <laughs> Yeah, I think we uh, picked up our cars on the same day, right yes. on the same day. Yes. So they they were around the time when Elon said he was sleeping in the factory in his sleeping bag. So exactly. potentially he laid eyes on the cars. Exactly. Because <laughs> I could feel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, when you're gliding aside the body? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah, there is a yes. Oh, so yeah. with, with, the, with your car then being that it's... Uh, coated and wrapped and all that. What, what difference are you feeling when you're cleaning it? It's just a lot easier yeah. to go along okay. know, to clean it. I mean, if you look right now... Has no resistance when you go left and right? Yes. Basically, you can see how the water just all runs off. Yeah. So that's OptiCoat Pro Plus over top of Expel film. Um, Is that something that you would reapply every so often? or has OptiCoat that... Pro Plus comes with a seven-year warranty. So you put it on and you're... Yes. It's yes. going to resist all this exactly. stuff by itself. So I could show you on here, this car doesn't have any coating. Let's see if it's kind of sticks a little more to yeah. it, if you will. Yeah. You know, not horribly, but difference. So ease mm -hmm. of cleaning mm -hmm. um, is the big thing. 
actually wouldn't take you as long because not as, not as much dirt would adhere yeah. to the surface okay. with OptiCode Pro on there. 